The ground. Here's your little coconut grove. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. These are pretty. I love these right here. Oh, here's David's little new section that he just put together. This is the uh, that Anona that I gave you. Yeah. And it has grown a lot. Mm -hmm. This is the one we think maybe a type of custer apple mixed with something else. But dude, look how good it's doing. I love seeing their roots like that. And you put a lot of compost here and uh, poo poo, uh, probably manure, manure mixture. Mm -hmm. And you see the winter, the cold weather does this to it. Yep. And it comes right back. So this is the, um, tell us again what? All, all the pineapple. Pineapple, and what was this again? This is water chestnuts. Water chestnuts. Oh, I've got so them here cool. and I've got them over there. So water chestnuts, uh, this, is, this is the one they use the root and they cut it up in like saute yeah, vegetables. Yeah, stir fry. So it's a aquatic plant. And look, they're doing really good. You got the pineapples. And he has, he even has, what was this one right here? That, I'd have to ask my wife. I can't remember the name of that. It is a flowering tree. Um, it was all right. Well, that's a, uh, the lemongrass, lemongrass that we gave you. Moringa. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, tamar uh, tamarind. Tamarind. Cameron. Cameron. Did you grow from seed or? Yeah, my daughter started to. Oh, yeah, it looks like a little bonsai. I like yeah, that. It started off that way and she was worried about it and wanted to get, get it yeah. in the ground because uh, she was afraid she was going to lose it. So. Yeah, it'll come right back. Yeah. They love the ground. Here's your little coconut grove. You, you were, where were you thinking about putting the golden coconut at? Not here yet. I may put it over on that side. That's a good idea. Stick it in with the lychees that are closer to the fence line or something. They'll pop right up if you do the same thing with it, with this. Oh yeah. And I love how you did, the, you guys did a good job on the walkway. There's the uh, Orinoco banana. Yeah. Is that a, uh, what kind of tree is that? That's a uh, olive tree. How about it's that? It's already blooming, believe it or not. I just got it in the ground. Just you got it near here? And you can see where it's blooming. Oh wow. Is that one of the more tropical olives? Uh, because the ones that we got were more. Um, this actually produces an edible olive. I can't think of okay. the name of it. Okay, is, right is it good for this area? Yeah. The one that we had, I'm just going to sell them. They're not doing good. Mm -hmm. They're not making flowers. It's uh, too rainy in the in the you know winter time. Right. They need yeah. more dry. Well, that's what I'm worried about because uh, they this don't one. like to be soggy. So that's why I put them over here because this area drains. That's a good idea. Quick. Here's the sour orange. It's looking yeah. good. It just had them. I, I disliked the leaf miners. They kicked my butt too. But it'll, it'll come right back. And oh, look! Look at his. Uh, was this the carabola? Ca carabola, the, the uh, star fruit. Yep. It's making a lot right now. It's beginning to uh, turn around, I believe. Yeah. Have you had a chance to try some? Yeah, yeah, they're very good. Really tasty on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So, what was some other plants that you planted at the the new uh, Zen Garden? Well, I've got the Peanut butter. Oh yeah, mine's doing really good in the greenhouse. Yeah, we found that at Grand Turk on the on the beach, mm -hmm. and they had a lot of them growing up on the. It's looking really good. We have another one I got to dig up from Marjorie's parents. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if you wanted it or I'll just take it home with me, and, and I'm gonna make it into a bonsai. Mm -hmm. It's about this tall, and I had to cut it back because it was growing right beside their avocado tree. Mm -hmm. I think a squirrel brought it in, but this one's gonna look perfect here. It'll kind of like give a shade to the the, uh, the the peanut butter tree. Yeah, will help it out. And what was this one, David? Wow, look, that's a big one. That'll start I making. Got another one over, on, over there. That'll make a fruit probably in a few years. And what was uh, this I've is got a the moringa over here. Well, you got some monsteria coming back through. Yeah, I was going to leave a little bit here and there, you know. But, Might as uh, well. I just don't want to get in it. I, where I've used it for all, I've got pieces of it sprouting all over. It's a good idea. Place. That's got a lot of nitrogen in it. What, what kind of tree is this one? This is um, a Chinese hat plant. The hummingbirds and butterflies love it. That's so cool. I like the little it. flowers. Yeah. Pretty. Here's a little flower on it. And then behind you, you can see all the um, manchanja, how you say Mantinja. it? Or strawberry tree. Yeah. You I know, got a tree fern I'm going to put in the ground there too. Oh, that'll be awesome. I, I saw them when we went hiking in Saba in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Went to the very top of the mountains and they were everywhere. 
the uh, the strawberry tree you gave me, it got so big, it was about this tall, mm -hmm. and I left it in the other greenhouse, and it just got too cold in there, so it died back to the ground, it's but it, it's good. still alive, it's so I, I moved it to the other greenhouse, and mm -hmm. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, they're pretty hardy. Uh, they really are. I just got to make... Gonna, in the spring, I'm going to start, because now is not the time to you know, start them. I tried starting a bunch of them a few months back. Right. We, you know, we had all that rain, and I'm going to... It messes it up. Everything. What you got here? What's this? That is mastic. Mastic? I never heard of that. Can you eat the fruit? Uh, if you look straight up, you'll see some of the fruit up there. When they're yellow, they clean. Oh yeah, here's one right here. Is that one edible, yellow enough? I, they're, I've read uh, that they're kind of, um, I haven't tried one yet. Stringent, I had right? a ladder on here. I, I was going to try one, but... Uh, You're going to try one now? Is that not yellow they enough? They claim it sticks your lips together. It's kind of... Uh, sticky? Sticky. Uh, I like glue? Basically, like glue, or uh, I can't think of it. Oh, wow, these are already coming back the passion vine and the um, yeah, the giant milkweed. Out. Yeah, that's these got really beat up from the weather, it just gets no, too cold the there. Passion vine that you the others, right? That you gave me. No, this is this actually that this is from Dominican Republic, okay. the gigantic uh, passion fruit mm -hmm. that um is yellow, yellow color. Oh, okay. And, and the, the insides, the, purple. They the, the other one's the one you tried. Yeah. It's a copy of the same tree. I did cuttings last year. Mm -hmm. This is your um, hogote. That's the hog, hogwood. Hog, 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 yeah, the hog, hog plum. plum. Hog yeah, it's going to be fun. Mine got really beat up. We'll have to do it again. They, they just can't handle that under 30. These are pretty. I love these right here. Oh, I was so disappointed. I couldn't. I sh I, something told me just to bring it to my parents' place in that greenhouse because we were... I didn't get a, a good enough heat source in there, so I lost a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm always starting a lot of these because the zoo, zoo really, really wants want some. Uh, they want to put, put some over there. If you get some more, I'll trade you something for it. I'm, I love the flavor of these fruits. Like I could just, I'll send them up there to bring Man, I'd love it, man. <laughs> I'd love it. What kind of banana trees are these? I, I couldn't tell you. I, I think it's the... Uh, I call them like an apple banana. They're kind of short, fat. Oh, that's they nice. Have an apple flavor, but uh, they're, they're oh, that's they're awesome. Round. I'll have to get some of these when uh, we get them. But most of my bananas, they're all mixed up because when I brought them here from the uh, other barn that we used to visit, yes, they, all their bananas were mixed up too. So it, every time you were digging something up, you really didn't know what you were getting until you try the fruit. Like five different varieties, and they, right? Uh, these almost seem like they're dwarf. Like they're uh, this might short be, and this might be the dwarf. See how short dwarf and fat they are? are? Those are dwarf. Right. See I mean, how short and fat they are? Yeah, I think this is. Uh, the apple flavor, the, the dwarf cut, cut took. Oh, nice! But they never really matured. Maybe because of the cold weather, oh, it kind of that broke. It broke off. Yeah, the water, uh, it broke it off. The wind messed it up too. Look like. Mm -hmm. So what? Uh, this tree that you were telling me about. Do the birds eat it and stuff? Do yeah, they, like they do. It? The birds like that. I like how you grow a lot of stuff for the animals, the wildlife. Mm -hmm. Let's check out your um, 